Klaus, o Mortudo chegou. Pessoal, o nosso amigo da África do Sul chegou. Ele não fala português muito bem. Então a gente vai falar tudo em inglês, ok? Eu vou atender a porta. Yeah. Hi, Motuji. Welcome. How are you? You great, man. How you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Hello, guys. Hello. Good. Hi, Motuji. Whoa. At last, you have accepted our invitation for lunch. Oh, yeah. It's been a long time we're trying to do this. Mm. What's this wonderful smell? This is the smell of heaven on earth. What? <laughs> My favorite dish of all, feijoada. Feijoada? Mm. What is this? It's a typical Brazilian food. Mm. Black beans, wow. pork meat, mm -hmm. rice, mm -hmm. kale, yeah. and farofa. Maniac flour. You know farofa already, right? Feijoada, farofa. Fantastic! <laughs> wow! Make yourself comfortable. Good. And let's go on with the cooking, or we won't eat at all today. Mm-hmm. Just a second. Come on. Mm. Let's get you some orange juice, or would you prefer iced tea? These are Antonio and Gustavo, our musicians. They speak the language of music. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Please, have a seat. Thank you. Glaucia, this isn't ready yet. It needs a little bit more cooking. something. What are these movies about? I know this guy. This is Chico Mendes. I don't know this woman, but the movie cover is really nice. Her name is Margarida Maria, a unionist who achieved many important rights for Brazilian workers in Paraíba. Yeah. Actually, she was the first woman to be president of her union. What are they doing in this picture? This is the March of the Daisies. Yes, in Portuguese, the word Daisy means Margarida. The march was created after her. Every year, tens of thousands of women march towards Brasilia to pay her homage. Mm -hmm. Tens of thousands, a lot of people. Yeah. So, does she take part in this march? Guys, wait, I smell something burning in the kitchen. Not the feijoada, please. Let's talk in the kitchen so we can all help. Okay. False alarm. There is nothing burning. Oh, it's okay. all right. Oh. Now, tell me, please, Glaucia, does Margarida participate in these matches? Oh, unfortunately, Margarida Maria was shot dead in front of her son in 1983. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Tell me, who killed her? Is the person in jail? No, the truth is, nobody has been held responsible for the crime. This is revolting. Good for you that you Brazilians have never forgotten about her, Anderson. Yeah, that's true. So, who wants feijoada? <laughs> Let's eat. Let's eat. I'm hungry. <laughs> Good. Good. Wow, Glaucia, you are a very good cook. This feijoada is delicious. Mm. Thank you. Mm. But everybody helped with the cooking, right, mm. Anderson? Mm-hmm. 
Tell me, you said that you already know Chico Mendes. Oh, yeah. Chico Mendes is known all over the world. His struggle for the preservation of the rainforest has been told in many countries. He also fought for the rights of the workers who collected rubber from the rubber trees in Acre, mm. in the Amazon region. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. He defended the rubber tappers from the violence of landowners who wanted to banish them from their lands and destroy the forest. Mm -hmm. okay. He was a unionist too. I didn't know that. I only knew he struggled to save the forest from illegal cattle ranchers and timber exploiters. He was a very important leader for the workers. Mm -hmm. He created the Rural Workers Union and unfortunately he was murdered in 1988. Oh. I know that. It was very sad news when he died. But in this case, two farmers were sentenced for the crime. Okay. Would you like to watch this documentary about Chico Mendes? Perfect. You don't worry about the dishes, I'll watch them. You better worry about preparing that delicious Brazilian coffee of yours. <laughs> Deal. Let's get to it. Good. Okay, for Glaucia, it's raining. Yeah, but it's the perfect weather to watch a movie. You are right. Say it. Glaucia's coffee is coming. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Mm. Mm, Glaucia, your coffee is excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Now, guys, this mm -hmm. is the documentary. Oh. Let's watch. Now. Let's do it. Hey, guys, come on. Minha vida começou igual de todos os outros seringueiros. Escravo submetido às ordens do patrão. Comecei com nove anos de idade. 